Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I am going to be comparing Bluehost and GoDaddy in 2021 and telling you which hosting platform is better for you. Now before we do get into this video, just a few reminders I have to get out of the way. First things first, if you do enjoy my content, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so every single time I upload you are notified. Also I will have both of these platforms linked in the description so no matter which one you decide to go with, you can receive receive a special discount. And now let's get right into the video. Now Bluehost and GoDaddy are two very, very popular hosting platforms. Bluehost is a personal favorite of a lot of web hosting experts and GoDaddy is probably the biggest hosting platform on the market to date. They're both very well known, albeit GoDaddy being slightly more well known because of how gigantic and massive it is, but the question remains of which one of these hosting platforms is actually better for you and which one you should go with. So in today's video, I'm essentially going to be comparing these two platforms, discussing the pros and cons of each, and helping you decide on which one you want to pick. Now let's go ahead and get right into this video and right into the comparison of these two platforms. Now there are a lot of things to consider when you are comparing platforms like these, including but not limited to obviously speed and performance, reliability, quality of support, the design and the ease of use, and the pricing as well. Now I'm going to go through each of these categories and kind of tell you which platform takes the win in each category because that's how I like to do it on this channel, so let's get started. Now the first thing I want to cover is performance and speed because that is such an important thing for any website. And the first thing you'll notice when you are comparing these two platforms is that across the board, Bluehost speed and performance and ping is actually consistently better than GoDaddy's. And actually if you chart their average loading time, their average loading time matches GoDaddy's best loading time. So it definitely is going to have to go to Bluehost in this speed and performance category without a doubt. Next up we have reliability and uptime. Bluehost of course coming in at around 99.81 to 99.99%. Bluehost has a very consistent and high quality uptime and their web hosting very rarely goes down. GoDaddy on the other hand, although it is still very good, it comes in at 98.5% uptime, which although that is still very good, it's nothing you need to complain about. A lot of times what I recommend to my customers is keeping the uptime above 99%. And if a hosting platform doesn't have that, I usually do not recommend going with that platform. So once again, I'm going to have to give this one to Bluehost. Next up, we have quality of support or just the support in general. And once again, this is going to have to go to Bluehost, making this so far a clean sweep for their platform. The reason being is GoDaddy, at least from my personal experience, and I'll admit this is more anecdotal, but it's still an important thing to take into consideration. Their support is not very good. A lot of the support they hire doesn't really know the platform and doesn't really have the technical skills required to provide really high quality support for you. So if we're looking at support, once again, it's going to Bluehost. Now next in ease of use, Bluehost and GoDaddy are both pretty easy to use. GoDaddy has a really slick interface, but so does Bluehost. If we're talking about the domain purchasing interface, this one would definitely go to GoDaddy. They really don't have any competition in that area. However, as soon as we get into hosting, their hosting interface does leave a bit to be desired. Bluehost has a super excellent and intuitive interface, which is very beginner friendly and has all the advanced capabilities you'll need when hosting a website. So once again, I'm gonna have to give this one to Bluehost just in this category of hosting specific. If you want to check out domain names though, GoDaddy could be a potential for that, but if we're talking about hosting, and in this video we are, it definitely goes to Bluehost. Finally, in terms of everything else, which is basically the pricing, the features, and the plans, GoDaddy and Bluehost actually tie in this category. They both have pretty low prices and pretty good features and plans as well, so in this category I'm going to give a tie between the two platforms, because I think neither of them really pulls that far ahead 
of the other. In conclusion though, the winner is undoubtedly Bluehost. They almost have a clean sweep in this comparison, and for good reason. In my opinion, they are one of the best hosting platforms out there. Now if you do want to check out Bluehost, go ahead and head down to my link in the description where you can check it out at a special discount. Thanks for watching, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next video.